Okay, this is uh, this is the steel billet predator. Now, the, the reason why we're having to take a separate video because this has got the fiberglass top. Most of them got chrome, but this has got the fiberglass. Otherwise, somebody would we put it on there and you'd buy it and you'd cry and you'd be mad at us. So we're making a separate video, separate pictures. But anyway, here it is. Now this carburetor is exactly the same on the inside. 390 CFM at low speed, all the way up to 930 when your cracker open. You got a mixture screw right there. Down is rich, up is clean. You adjust that there. We adjust it with a computer to, to calculate to get the proper mixture. But you're going to have to get it so it runs with that. You know, so it, see, there's some doors in there to mess with. There's some stuff around here to mess with. But you're better off to leave it alone because you don't know what you're doing. But anyway, set your timing at 30 degrees at 3,000. I know you'll ignore all this stuff. Never spray carburetor cleaner around it because you'll eat the finish off, make it bare and run a rust. You don't care about that. You'll ignore that too. Uh, there is no electric choke to set, so I'm going to put it on there. So I know what will happen. You'll ignore all this stuff just like this guy do. They call me up. Yeah, did you watch the video? But I don't believe it and I don't care. Look down there. You see that fuel? you got to have three pounds pressure right there. Three pounds pressure. You try to run any carburetor nowadays with ethanol based fuel, it will not run. It will flood over with more than three pounds. Yeah, I know you don't believe that either. But we do this every day. If I sound like I'm mad, you're right. Because I hate people challenging us when this is all we do and they think they know more than we do or the factory that built them. Well, the mo motor, they'll say that well, the motor's manual says we can have six pounds. Yeah, the motor manual was wrote 40 years ago and you had leaded fuel. And it takes more pressure to push lead than it does ethanol. Any fool knows that. Obey the videos, do what it says, you'll have no trouble. And you whip everybody on the mud bomb circuit.